Good morning once again. Today we are looking at this isometric drawing block and we are going to section it. So if we say section it in engineering drawing, we are saying that um, a sectional drawing is a view of a structure at its had been sliced mm -hmm. in a half or cut along another marginal plane. So within the section, if a cutting plane is being put around the side and is being sliced and is being divided into two, we call it section. Where the cutting plane is going to cut and where there is a solid figure is going to be section. If the cutting plane is given to you around the side and is going to slice here, and this part is going to be divided into two, a section. That other part is section. Now let's look at the direction of cut of section. Now let's pick this one. This is the same thing as this. Now the cutting plane is drawn from this direction from here to here. So in this case, we are going to divide this one into two. As we are going to draw our cutting plane from JNG, the division is going to lie from this side. As we divide it by two, in the 3D, we are going to see this. If we divide this pattern into two, we are going to see this, this side. In the 2D, we are going to look at this. So if you put it in the uh, orthographic projection, this is how we are going to section it. So we are slicing from this side. If it's cut from this side, meaning that you are dividing this one into two. If it is being divided into two, here is going to be front elevation section or sectional front elevation if the direction is given to you at this side. But if the direction is given to you in the other side, here, if the direction is given to you at this side, and we are going to cut this one into two, the cutting plane will lie here, and it's going to divide it by two. If you divide it by two, in a 3D, we are going to see this. There is going to be the hole that goes through it, and this is going to be the solid figure. That is where we section this part. So with the 3D, if we come to the 2D, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this. But if we are presenting it in orthographic projection, this, the session aspect, is going to be the hole, the base hole under it. And it's here. And here is going to be the hole that moves in through. So this one we call it sessional end view. Sessional end view with the direction cutting at the front view. Now from there, we can move to sessional plan view. With the sessional plan view, we are going to cut straight from the top. Each each from the top. If we cut straight from the top, we look at the uh, three view, we can see it like this. We are slashing this one, the top, out of it. So where the cutting plane is going to cut, that is where we are going to session. So here that you see is the solid figure that is has cut. But the hole, if the cutting plane cut, is going to remain whole. We don't session it. So if you look at it, this, how the cutting plane looks like this. With the 2D, we are going to look it at this. But if you draw it in a photographic projection, that is how it's going to look like this. From this direction here, 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 here. So this is where the cutting plane is going to cut. And here is going to be the face that if you are looking at the top, you see it. This side, this side, this side, this side. This side. Because it's cutting from the wedge, because it's cutting from the wedge, the middle of the wedge is being divided by this. So the cutting plane will cut this side and to be left with this side. And for this one, we can convert it to first angle and third angle. Looking at the first angle, the front view, the cutting plane, this is how the front view is going to be at the right hand on top of the Cartesian plane. And the left hand is going to be the end view. So because the direction is like this, the front is going to be like this, and it's cutting from this plane. So here is going to be front view, and it's going to be drawn at the left hand on top of the Cartesian plane and beneath it under it is going to be the sessional plan view that is cutting at the top here is going to be the sessional plan view and at the side of it is going to be sessional end view so this first angle projection on the sessional view on the block now if you look at the third angle the third angle most of the time we see that it's a mirror projection so wherever the cutting plane is going to cut, that is where you have to position it. As it is cutting from here, it's, we remain the elevation, uh, the isometric block, the block at the same way it is going to cut. So in this case, 
we are going to see the front elevation at the bottom here it remains here and the end view is going to remain at the side of it so this is the side of it and the top of it is going to be the plan view this side cutting from this side is going to be the plan view so you could see that this is the first angle of the sectional view and this is the third angle of the sectional view we can we can also go over and check for the first and with the plan front view the cutting plane was lying at the side so we are dividing this one into two we are going to have this and this the autographic elevation of the front view the end view the cutting plane is lying at the side we divide this one into two and we are going to see it like this and this the sectional end view at the left side and the sectional plan view if you cut it on top we are going to have this and this is how we are going to get it from this point here and so if you bring them together this is going to be the sectional front view sectional end view sectional front view this is first angle projection this is first angle projection on the sectional view and with the third angle projection we have this front view at the bottom plan view on top and the side of it becomes the sessional end. Thank you very much.